Hello everyone and uh, welcome to my channel. My name is Blarix uh, and as you guys asked, here is the manager mode that I promised you guys. Uh, as you can see, we're going we're going through the scouts right now. Uh, there is four stars, five stars, and the best one is a Portuguese geezer. I'm not sure who he really in, in real life is, but um, here we're going through the countries, as you can see, one by one, and I have not skipped any, so trust me, these are all the countries that you can actually scout in. The only country so far I've actually scouted in is Switzerland, uh, and Brazil, and somewhere in England. And as you can see, it's only disappointing whenever you go over the countries, it doesn't actually show their flags, instead just keep showing your scouts flag. But as you can see, we're going through it right now, and um, hopefully, uh, if you guys have any questions regarding this part, you can ask me, and I'll gladly inform you more about it. Now, um, I couldn't fit all the information you guys asked me into this video, so I just summarized it, took little bits of every s subject that I could find. Uh, I was interested, I was going to put in a lot of the media player interaction, but I couldn't because it was, the file was going to be way too big. So I decided just to keep it short <laughs> and nice for you guys. 12 minutes, still a long time for a video and I hope you guys don't get bored. Now, uh, here's the transfers. As you can see, Messi is the most expensive player with one and what was it? 107 million. Followed by Xavi, Cristiano Ronaldo, Iniesta, Arian Robin. I tried to buy Arian Robin, but they basically refused me. <laughs> they said they don't have depth in their squad, so they said, no, nope, you cannot buy him. Man, Bayern Munich basically flat out said to me, no, you can't buy him. Uh, I'll try to buy Mess, uh, I mean, Rooney. And uh, as you can see, he said he's loyal to Manchester City, I mean, Manchester United, and will not leave for a rifle club, no matter what the price is. So I wanted to see actually if, we, if he was going to keep on to his worth and if he's actually going <laughs> to stay at his club if I offer them a ridiculous price and I tried and uh, as you can see here I put it I put the price up to like I think somewhere in 300,000 a week and if he didn't buy it I could say wow this guy's bullshitting <laughs> we'll see if he bites or not so I'm not gonna give it away yet uh, and as you can see right now, I even up the bonus per goal. Basically, perfect dream contract that you like that you can give any person, any player in the world. And we'll see if he accepts it. Uh, by the way, the, how the transfer market works is uh, clubs come to you and ask you for your players. I tried rejecting a couple of times, and what. What I found odd was um, how Tottenham got insane amount of money all of a sudden. I rejected Tottenham several times, but they kept coming back. The offer was getting higher, higher, higher. At one point, they offered 40 million for Yaya Toure. At their, they started first at 20 million. I said no. 25? No. 30? No. 35? No. 40? I was like, okay. That's not a bad price for Yaya Toure. I mean, he's a great player. I think he's one of the best players in the world. And as you can see, Rooney has signed for Manchester City. Now, all you Manchester fans, please don't get angry at me. I was just testing the game and seeing if it's going to be realistic or not. You guys let me know what it is. Do you guys, do you guys think it's realistic for someone to actually sign for that amount of contract? Or would he actually say, oh, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to stay loyal. 
no matter what the contract is. I think this is a lot more realistic. I think any player, no matter how loyal or how dedica dedicated he is to a, uh, his own club, there's always price. There's always price that he'll reconsider. Even Steven Sherrard, the most loyal person I think I know in the United, United, United Kingdom, the Premiership, he even had <laughs> doubts. He even almost went to Chelsea, you know? So I don't think anyone is actually as loyal as they say. Maybe you can, you can debate about the, uh, the Barcelona players because they have that system built into their DNA, as they always say. And they might not adjust to another team playing the same way. Now, I mean, if they went to another team, they might not adjust playing the same way. Uh, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying uh, they're bad players if they don't get it on. Now, as you can see, on the right is the latest deals. Top deals are on the top. Rooney is the highest transfer bit of the summer. Uh, and... It also shows if you uh, use the right, the left B and the right B, you can go through uh, the transfer market, the breaking news, and the club news. And here we're gonna go into the actual scouting. So I'll scout a few players, and as you can see, the potential and the most and the realistic, like what they can go up to, is let's say 87, like this guy, or 84 depends but that's only after one month of scouting so if you really want to find out how good a youth player is you get at least at least scouting for three months so what i do is generally s tell the scout okay you know what keep scouting for another one or two three months after that if he still says the rating is going to be high on that person he's going to be a good player i'll b i'll sign him now you can see uh, that one, that's basically um, media interaction, you basically respond to the media. You, pl you can play mind games, you can either A, play mind games against the coach, against the team, or you can individually pick a player and you can like single that player out. For example, you'd be like, like what I did earlier, and I'll show you in this video, Gareth Bale. You'd be like, oh, I don't think Gareth Bale's good, I think he's overrated and I, I think he doesn't show up in big big games like right now you can see I pick Garrett Bell a big player um, Garrett Bell you can scroll all the way down <coughs> and you say unnerve him and as you can see it reads there that I'm not impressed by him now either that I have noticed I did that a couple of times at times players will actually prove themselves it will backfire on you like the last time i did it against drogba he scored hat trick against me oh there it goes poor torres he can never catch a break <laughs> and this is the transfer deadline it's pretty amazing i actually love this future right now i'm not even gonna lie to you guys i try to fast forward i try to take as much information from it uh, basically is 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 incredibly hectic everyone almost every big team small team they're all trying to get the best deals you know um, I try to sign myself Schweinsteiger and it was difficult they want a lot more money than what I intended to give them first but he signed me he signed for my club as you can see, Akban Lahore signed there for Newcastle. Now, uh, <coughs> you can watch, you can keep watching the screen while I talk about the top scorers of the of the game, how it works. I found a bit strange that Rooney, uh, uh, Kun Aguero, Jacko, or uh, any other players like Hernandez wouldn't be like, you know the top top scorers instead it was david silva who ended at the end of the season with with the most goals followed by Agban lahore and davis which was what davis i know he's a good player don't get me wrong i actually like him davis he's a good player but as a top scorer second top scorer of the season 
I think that was a bit off and I hope we get an update for that because that seemed a bit unrealistic. As you can see, there were also Johnson and uh, the BR was all the way at the bottom, nearly at the bottom. Well, I, just, I thought that's crazy. And here's the player where they can either A, get unhappy, B, they can say, coach, play me and I'll prove it to you that I'm good. You can take the chance on him and play that person, play that player. You might get lucky and he might be amazing in that game or he might be just terrible. Now, last time I played Jekko, he said, play me, coach, and I will show you my worth, something like that. I played him, he scored a hat trick. I was like, whoa. <laughs> then I benched uh, Rooney for a couple of games. He kept scoring, kept scoring. After a while, he had a dry spell again. So I took Jekko off and he got unhappy again. So uh, I find it a bit strange that he gets quickly unhappy, even though he, he is a substitute. He does come into the games, he does actually play. And here is actually scouts that are trying to sign. I signed a scout right there. I'm not gonna lie to you, David, David Silva is pretty amazing. There, there is Jekko again. He's absolutely not happy. Do you pronounce the name Jekko or Zekko? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that video and uh, I'll try to get more videos up for you guys. Uh, and if my commentary sucked this time, I'm sorry, I did a live as the video was going on. So I couldn't edit it out. And if you guys wonder where my accent's from, I'm Dutch. And uh, I do live in the United Kingdom. I love this place. I love the culture. I love the people. And uh, I hope to upload more videos. And that's about it. Thank you, guys. And have a good day. And enjoy it. I think the celebrations are pretty amazing. Look at all that. Look at all that juice. Oh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a good night. Bye.